Hi there, I'm Helen Meeple. I'm an art student and today we are going to be painting some pots. Pot painting, if you will. So I have three plant pots that I just don't really like. They are either pots that I've had for a really long time or maybe some that I got from my mom for free and you know I can't say no to a free pot. Two of these pots are blue and the other one is just a little old looking for my style and blue is nowhere in my color palette. So today I am going to be repainting them and giving them a fresh new look. With that being said, let's get artsy. To start off my pot makeover journey, I first needed to move the plants out of the pots that they were already in so that I could actually paint them. And George here, my cactus, was in a pot that was just way too small for him. I initially had him in that pot like two or three years ago and he just grew so much so I think it was time for him to have a new home. And I think he likes this one a lot better. George was actually my very first plant with me for a while and he's been going through college with me and it's just really nice to see how much he's grown. This plant here is Francesca and I am going to keep her in this pot so right now I'm just moving her over to a Tupperware to keep her safe while I paint it. And yes, I refer to my plants all by name. They are my friends, they are my plants, my babies. And I'm also just doing the same thing with my third plant, Hugh. And this was a bit of a mess, which is why I did it outside. So I could just sweep all the dirt off of the porch when I was done. Once I had my plants all transferred out of the pots, it was time to get them all cleaned up and get ready to be painted. I wanted to make sure that there was no dirt left behind in any of these pots because I was going to be spray painting them and I didn't want the dirt to show up underneath the spray paint. So I'm just rinsing off the dirt really. I didn't really use soap, but I didn't think it was that necessary. The colors that I'm using to spray paint my pots are going to be Krylon Color Master in the color Satin Almond and Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover in the color Cinnamon. And I just started spraying away. When it comes to painting and various forms of art, I tend to not be the most patient person. And I really didn't want to have to go and do multiple coats of spray paint. So I kind of oversprayed the paint and you can see that I'm just spraying a little too close to the pots. So there was a little bit of running of the spray paint. When you're spray painting things, you really want to do light coats and spray from a bit of a distance to avoid creating any dripping. Once my pots were dry, I brought them inside and you can see here where some of the dripping occurred from over spraying the pots. It wasn't going to bother me that much because I was going to be painting over it and I just didn't think it was going to be that noticeable. I went ahead and started painting on this pot. I was going for kind of a mountainscape look. I started off by using some white paint and adding just a little bit of green to it for my first color. And I just took this color around the pot, just doing these uneven, natural kind of organic brush strokes. I'm using somewhat of a large brush to do this, just so it's easier <laughs> to get it painted all the way. You could really do this with any size brush. On my second color, I added a bit more green and just layered this color right underneath the first one. And I continued this around the entire pot. I continued to make the colors more saturated as I went down and added a bit more green for the last color. I was originally thinking of having four colors for the green, but I decided that I liked the look of just three and I decided to paint the rest of the bottom of the pot with the darkest of the greens. I didn't want the colors to be too similar and I didn't want them to be too different either, so I think I found a nice balance. 
For my second pot, I'm going to be using a Posca pen. Posca pens are basically just paint markers and they're great for writing on things other than paper. So something like a pot is a perfect example of what you can use a Posca pen on. They also work great on wood or other materials like plastic or maybe even fabric, but they aren't the best to use on paper because they'll probably tear it up. I started creating these natural leaf shape. With each leaf, I was kind of trying to make it look like all of the others, but of course, since I was just freehanding this, they weren't gonna all look the same, but I was fine with that because it really created a more organic look. There was also a couple of drip marks on this pot as well, but again, I think the pattern that I used actually covered it up pretty well. The upper part of this pot was really tricky to paint over. It was just really hard to get the paint to go evenly over that bump, so it just looks a little wonky. And with each of these steps, I was doing the same step over the entire pot before I moved on to the next one. This is just how I like to work. I think it keeps what you're doing consistent versus if I were to draw an entire leaf and then move on to the next one and draw another whole leaf, it might not look very even. So I think going one step at a time over the entire pot worked out best for me. So the pot for Francesca definitely needed to be something a little more fabulous because that's just how Francesca is. I decided to use some gold metallic paint to cover the bottom portion of the pot. And this gold metallic paint needs a lot of coats. It goes on very thin and it's just not the thickest paint. But once you've added a lot of coats, it really does look beautiful. So I just started by adding one coat at a time trying to let it dry for a little bit, and then adding another. The thing is with this paint though, if you don't let it dry for long enough before you add another coat, it might pull up some of the paint from the previous layer. So you do need to let it dry fully before moving on to the next layer. I was going to be adding some dots to the upper half of the pot, and I started by trying a brown paint color, but I quickly decided that that was not the look I was going for. So I switched over to some black paint and I liked it a lot better. And I just added these small dots, making them look a little messy and not like perfect circles. I was making very uneven circles and splotches and wasn't really trying to make them perfect. I kind of see a Dalmatian every time I look at it now, but I still think it's cute. I added another coat of gold, and of course when I was done painting this layer, I noticed that I had smeared some of the black paint because it wasn't dry all the way. So I had to go back with my little paintbrush again and try and cover up some of this smearing with some more dots. And then I added my final coat of gold paint, and it was finally all coming together and I just checked to make sure that there were no more spots where you could see the base color through, and then I was done with it. And here's how the three pots looked when I was all done painting them. Now that I was finished painting them, I was so excited to put my plants back in them and take them up to my room and style them back into my plant corner. The sun was already starting to set when I was repotting my plants and it was just a really nice moment to sit down and do some planting. I still need to get a plant for my third pot that George used to be in. I'm probably just going to propagate something from a plant that I already own or maybe one from something that my mom has. So now let's see how these new pots look with all my other plants.
Well, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found it interesting and that maybe it gave you a little bit of inspiration to give a little makeover to some of your plant pots. I'm happy with how these pots turned out. I love them so much more with their new look. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.